when it's Friday and you just got nothing left in the tank? Oh, yay. <laughs> What's the most epic thing that's going to happen after school today when you get home this evening? We're going to play video games. Oh! <laughs> I bet you one billion bucks that the school was. Give me your one billion bucks. I don't have it. <laughs> I'm broke. Give me some hugs. Love you so much. You have the best day of all time, okay? I love that, though. Welcome, everyone, to a freshly shaven Home Alone with Greg, making everyone out there happy, I'm sure. I've been thinking about this, and I've realized that beards are very much like Subway subs. It sounds really good, and you really want one, but then when you get it, you realize it just isn't. So uh, that's where we're at, and uh, I, think, uh, I think it's quite an improvement. On that bombshell, we've got a lot of work to do today, including making a highlight video for you guys of week six of Remote Learning Kindergarten, which is what I'm gonna do now. Just finished the edit on this video, and I'm about to do Clark Dirty, but I <laughs> just have to. <laughs> Anyways, it's all done. It turned into five minutes and 38 seconds out of probably an hour of footage. It's five days. This one is 11, 13, 16, 14, and 21. All of that condensed down into five minutes of highlights, which is fun to look back on. Like reliving these memories for me is just, it's awesome. I love doing this. And I think making these videos for people that maybe just found our channel within the last year, this is like all of the fun stuff without all of the boring school stuff, including that. With my video exporting, we now move to this side of the table where my Bugatti is still sitting here waiting for me as are these pieces. And I am massively in debt because my short for this, showing week five, I think, of what I've built on this, is supposed to be coming out in like 30 minutes. I think to speed up my build, I gotta grab my newest pickup here. This is some Chobani coffee, cold brew, sweet creamer, made from farm fresh milk. Lovely packaging. Let us partake in this awesomeness. Get the pour for you guys because you deserve it. That's probably enough for me. A little bit of caffeine goes a long way with me, uh, but I'm not really in it for that. I'm in it for the taste. I really love like cold coffee and I love it when it's like really sweet and sugary and creamy and stuff. So I thought this would be, would be that, so. That's pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Ooh, still kind of weird without the beard. I wanna share a comment that I got with you guys. It was a real sweet one that I got yesterday that I thought I would share here. Since we have comments, you can't see me because I'm backlit like a crazy dude, but I want to share this with you because it was, it made my heart smile a little bit. What's even sweeter is the fact that it's the most upvoted comment too, and this comes from Darth Danger Vest too. He says, the thing I truly love about Home Alone with Greg is that he's not doing all these wacky things with clickbait titles as other daily vloggers do. He simply shares what he's doing that day with the rest of the world, even if it's the same thing he did yesterday and that is that's a fact why that comment meant so much to me was because i do wonder whether i should be filming every day like i pick this camera up and i'm like does anyone actually want to see this i guess the way that i justify it is i'm just like you know what i'm just going to record it and if it turns into something i'll put it out as a video and if not i'll just i'll just delete all the footage so far i haven't actually deleted any videos i'm just like you know what if someone does want to see this here it is for you. And surprisingly, there's there's a lot of people that do. So that just like, it makes me feel great. And I'm, that combined with this new morning show that I'm doing that's a live stream, it's getting a ton of support. I just feel so empowered right now to do this thing that I love to do, which is to share my world and my life and my thoughts with uh, everyone out there. And it's just, it's great. I see a future in this. Something that I was, I was very, um, gray for me for a bit. I was like, what's the transition look like from the life with Clark to life without Clark? And it turns out that there's people out there. So thank you guys for being here. And now uh, let's go back to the same thing that we do every day, which is building some Bugatti and drinking some coffee. It's been about 15 minutes and I am on step 421, which is the last one. And all it is is putting these two pieces, that one there and that one there and bag five is done we've got some exterior very exciting i'm gonna give you guys some behind the scenes on just how brutal making these videos is for me 
You can see all of my takes that I did there, trying to get it just right. I got it at 52 seconds. Welcome everyone to you only have five one minute. Five of my Lego so I got it. Build I'm happy. Week. Just like that, my short is uploaded. Looks like FedEx is delivering something, and it looks very destroyed. I have no idea what that could possibly be. Thank you for the warning, Bear. You're doing a good job as a guard dog. This dude has been out here for a while. Just kind of being at the back of the truck. Maybe trying to figure out what the heck he's doing because FedEx, I realized very recently, is it's pretty bad. Flipping it over. Oh, putting it back on the truck. Yep, yeah, wrong house, I guess. We'll just put it back on. Smash it in here. There we go. Now we got some small. Ooh, Target. Maybe that's ours. That'll be exciting. Oh shoot, I think he saw me. I gotta go. <laughs> this one right here is some Christmas Lego sets for me. This one here from Target is for the Clark man. And this is a Christmas gift for him, which I can show you that one. Definitely relieved that that big box was not ours because <laughs> I think look Jack, dude. I'm gonna open this from the bottom so you can't steal our address. I love you, but I don't know guys. You're a little scary sometimes. All right, here we go. Let me show you what we got here. Oh baby. I got my assistant helping me here, but funny story about this stuff here. Clarkman actually saw it on Target's website and I told him that it went out of stock so I couldn't order it, but I put it on as Christmas lists with Santa Claus, which is the story and I'm sticking to it. The first thing we got here, this thing is really cool. It's the X-Men Ultimate Expanse. And it looks like just a little ship, right? With a couple of little minifig guys. Oh no, it's a Transformer, baby. How cool is that? So, oops, I'm excited about that. And then I got him this one as well. This is Wheeljack. And he looks pretty darn cool. I got a great deal on these. Target was doing a massive sale. This is usually like 65 bucks. I got this for like 30. I flip it over. And this one was like 20, I think. Then I think I got another discount on top of that though. We got like $10 off. So this is only like $40 for the two of these, which is a great deal. And Santa Claus is he's pretty stoked. He's getting some work done here in October. I've been hiding these up in the top of my closet in a place that I know he can't get to. They'll reemerge here late December. Oh goodness. Missing pieces 101, officially a wrap. Feels good to have that done. It's now 1237 and we still got a lot to do today. First things first, we've got to box up our camera and send this back to B&H and get my $2,600 back because this just ain't cutting it. So we'll try to nicely package this back up the way that it came to me and get it back in the mail to them. Can't even tell I was here. There is a bit of a downside about this and that's that Sony is gonna have to sell us as a refurbished unit now even though that I literally just used it a couple times and tried it out, it's no longer new. So it is gonna cost them a little bit of money but I imagine they account for that in the actual price of this because I doubt many people return it. Usually you'd be really excited about this camera I think if you were a photographer. But for me, this is just fine. This is my little Sony ZV-1 and then this camera is just I just have loved this thing. I kind of feel like my camera situation is a little bit like a golfer with their clubs. I have a different camera for different situations and scenarios, and I think that's great, because I can get all this stuff here that I have, including my phone, this, and the camera I'm using for less money than what this is. That return there needs to go to a FedEx drop-off, and that is on my way to get Clark Man, so we're gonna put that off until later. I was gonna eat this and review it with you guys, but it turns out that this has to cook for 32 to 37 minutes. I don't have that kind of time, so I think we're just gonna bail on lunch. Flip flops in the middle of October. It's a lovely day. Ooh, it smells good in here, like cleaning products. Let's take a gander. Ooh, save an average of $587 on auto insurance. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, we got some mail. Look at all that stuff. That's gonna be fun getting into that. Out here, it smells so glorious. That place right there, they're making something that smells like funnel cakes. If you've ever had a funnel cake in your life, 
Oh, it's so good. And it's what it smells like. I think Bear can smell it. <laughs> you see the little nose holes moving. But, oh man, that's cool. This is from our, this is our Lego people. If you guys haven't been watching very long, we get fan mail, we open it. I try to hide addresses so you can't see that, but lots of stuff. We'll open that tomorrow. I warped ahead one hour, just did my weekly, I guess, floor cleaning and the place is looking nice and spiffy. Bear is in the dry spot over there, but it's time to go get the Clark man. I'm coming, Dad. Don't leave without me, Dad. I'm coming. I'm almost there. Okay, I've made it. The thing we don't want to forget is our return. Legend is back. Uh huh. So, this is the worst part. Let's talk about the bad stuff, and then the good stuff. Okay. So, the thing I didn't want to do today was something or spring mass um, testing the yogis do all the time. Why? Because I just love getting the high score. All right. I don't want to get a low score like an eight. If you get a low score, it just means that you're doing more challenging things and you're learning from that. It's good sometimes not to always get 100% because that means that you're trying hard and you're working on more challenging it, it, stuff. It, it's really hard now because we're on the second level. Mm -hmm. We're on level two spring mass, which is um, still pluses. Okay. And it's funny because we're doing pluses in the spring mass. They were doing minuses in go mass. I see. So you went into Minecraft and you're playing like on easy mode and you're just like wiping the floor with everybody. That's fun at first, but eventually it gets boring, right? Yeah. Eventually you want to move up to the next hardest difficulty so you have more of a challenge. The challenge is what makes things fun. Anything else happened today other than doing challenging math? was fun. We did that ball game again. Throwing the ball up? Up and throwing to people. Was it aggressive today or was it yes, friend? Aggressive. Oh, you with first graders are so aggressive. And Somebody was rude my bus, and she's like, "Not like that person rides my bus," and she's like, "Nah." How would she know? She doesn't ride your bus. Yeah, it just makes me so angry. Say, why would I make that up? Say, what do I have to gain for making that up? And how would you know, Raylan? That's what I'd say. But don't get angry. That's you know, just silly kid stuff. You're beyond that, Clark man. Is there anything like positive that happened today that you're happy about? Wow. We, we did social studies, which we died as close. And after recess, I'm like, we're going to be going home soon. Every time after recess. Because then we do like three things after recess and then we go home. You were looking forward to that? I was looking forward to you coming back today, too. Yeah, I was looking forward to coming back. We're going to do some gaming tonight? Yep, fun. As soon as we get home, baby. There is one thing, though, before we go home. i got to stop and return this box that I've sitting beside me here. This is the FedEx drop-off place, supposedly. Yeah, it is. See the little sign up there? FedEx. Say goodbye to my camera. Cute little setup. Yep. It's pre-labeled and all that stuff. All right, thank you so much. Anybody kidnap you? Hey, Miss Mr. McSniffy Pants, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> that tickles. That tickles. But you need that dog love so bad. Daddy, these glasses are so small on my nose. They look cool, though. It's, it's giant. You ready to go home and play some games? Just scared her. <laughs> you think I got this? Oh, Lord. We just made it, baby. Let's go. Oh no, is a fake our master the boss? I should have known. Mystique, you cheeky devil. Clark Rimp, take those guys out. Oh my lord. Ow! Ow! My boo cheekies! They're blazing! Do you have to jump this? Respond. Jump. Jump over that. No. There you go, buddy. Suck bricks, kid. Oh. Smash his face with an iron. Ah, I fell in the lava. Yeah.
Yeah. Here's what we're going to do to you, kid. This is what we're going to do to you, kid. We're no longer the wet bandits. We're the, the sticky, sticky bandits. bandits. And lava. 